Hello, hello friends, Dapper Driver here. Welcome back to another pack opening. That's right, we haven't been done a pack opening in a little bit, but we were back. We got some tins. We're going to show them off to you today, and uh, we will get started in just one moment. So, like I said, we have some tins here today. We have a Bulbasaur, little cute tiny tin here has the adorable little Bulbathor on it uh, which is kind of cool I might be using this for like a dice box or something soon uh, but we're gonna find out uh, uh, whether or not we want to do that and then these are the new tins they're kind of awesome we got a Celebi Venusaur here so what I'm hoping to do is uh, after I get this open go ahead and build a deck online and I'll be doing that as well for you guys. So with this, it is a tag team. It can be stronger than a Pokemon battling solo. Choose from three strong duos. The Pikachu Zekrom uh, GX, the Eevee Snorlax GX, and or the Celebi Venusaur GX. And obviously there's already the Waylord Magikarp, Magikarp Waylord uh, box. Uh, tag team 10, each of these each of these fantastic uh, tins contain an amazing pair of Pokemon who work together perfectly as a team with a GX attack that can leave your opponent in the dust. Uh, I think they're mainly talking about the uh, peek around there. But uh, let's see, we can get uh, one of three of the special uh, tag team Pokemon, four TCG booster packs, one to metal tag team at GX market, and a code card for the unlockable playable deck. You get a whole deck. So these are kind of good ways to get started on the online as well as IRL. Say you only pulled one uh, Venusaur, you can pull multiple in this. Uh, or you can pull, uh, you can get this other one in here, and then you can see what you get out of the packs as well. Um, sorry if I'm a little far from the camera. I uh, just a little am today, but we're gonna bust open this thing first. Little Bulbasaur tin, very very adorable tin. Has a little oddish there too. And I know all of them together make a giant picture. So we're going to pop this open see what's inside. And it's a cute, adorable poster of Bulbasaur. And uh, they try to make you collect the, the whole picture. As you guys can see here, that whole picture. Bulbasaur can be seen napping on the bright sunlight. There is a seed on its back by soaking up the sun. Its seed grows progressively larger. It asks you to collect all five artworks. So we have Bulbasaur. We're not going to get any others though, I think. Uh, random Genesect coin. Not much to do with... Not much to do with that, but uh, you do get a Genesect coin with it. And you get not one, but two packs of cards in here. And you get this little nice tin that, uh, you know... You can throw your your dice in and whatnot. Your 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 GX marker fits in here. Your uh, your coins fit in here. You're uh, trying to grab dice and it's not working out for me because there's coins over all my dice. So yeah, it's a good little dice holder, which I think is kind of the reason I bought it was that I can put my dice in here and if I go to events, you know, it's a nice keep shut and you can pop it open to have access to all your things which is kind of cool so we have that little thing we'll both open these packs see what's in them we have a face collide and a burning shadows go ahead and pop this code up here for you guys so you guys can see it and nab it for your own need one two three we're going to start today off with a Larvitar. Has that Reckless Drop Charge, I mean. Reckless Charge. Come on, can you focus? Is it going to focus is the question. Maybe if I put my hand up here. See, the problem is, is this is the face cam that uh, is trying to become the, uh, the, the card cam. And it's not working out the best. There we go, adorable, adorable little Larvitar. Followed by a Diglett, it digs. Mencino cleaning up the yard, a Spoinx jumping so high it feels like a rocket. Division coughing here, and Ultra Ball, that's always a good card to pull. 
old amber for those aerodactyls. Halucha with the backflip. Reverse is a Snivy, and our rare in the pack is a Barbaracle. Now, Barbaracle is known for that hand block. Prevent your opponent from playing down special energy cards. Um, and sees play every so often, but not uh, a lot. Put those over there. We got a Burning Shadows here. <clears throat> and I'll probably give you guys these two packs, but I probably won't give you all the packs. Uh, but that's just because I play the game as well. There you guys go. A Burning Shadows pack. Feel free to take that one as well. One, two, three. And there's an energy in this one. So that energy is dark. And we are way off because we didn't look at it first. So let's go ahead and look at this. We got a Pan Pour. Followed by a spur with those perplexing eyes. Pan Sage, Waven, Sock with the quick guard. Noibat is has that agility. Sophocles has a little bit of a misprint there, but either Honey Gathering or a Bombi. Followed by Soul Rock. Slow King is our reverse rare and a rare Malamar. Not the one that is used to that you guys are used to. Uh, it's the side beam confusion confusion. And energy slosh, move all the energies from this Pokemon to one of your benched Pokemon. So that could be useful with the new Parasect that does do more damage based off confusion. But uh, other than that, probably will still not see play. But now that we got the little guy open, we're going to bust into the big guy. The big tag team GX. The thing that gives you a deck with its uh, code card. So I got, I'm excited to see what kind of deck it gives me. Might play that, or might uh, build up a Celebi Venusaur deck. Um, a lot of people are saying now is kind of the time to play Celebi Venusaur, just due to the fact that um, it's before a, a giant fire set releases. So this is a beautiful ten. I really like this style of ten. It's significantly different than the the tens from yesteryear. Like for one, it's just bigger. Which means you can put more stuff in it, which is kind of cool. But other than that, it just has a lot nicer of design here too. And what is this contraption? This is my first one op opening, first time opening one of these tins. So all this is a little new to me. But look at all that space you have to just store cards. That is craziness. So we'll go ahead and pop this back on here and set it aside here, so you guys can look at it here bottom and what do we have in this we have looks like they're getting better at their packing looks that's uh that just could be wrong all right so that pops out nice and easy that was that's an unusual i will say that uh so with all the plastic i just gotta kind of toss it below um but we have this beautiful card here i'm realizing i need a sleeve right away uh Beautiful Celebi Venusaur card with 270 HP has that pollen hazard which does burn confusion and poison for 50 damage and Solar Beam that does 150 damage. Evergreen does 180 and heals all the damage from it as long as you have an extra grass energy attached to it. Now you gotta be sure of that wording because if you put a double colorless on it it's not going to give you that heat that um that shuffle all cards from the discard pile into the deck you will still get the heal but a beautiful card uh, i'm so glad that i finally have one of these um we'll go ahead and stack it right there it gives you an interesting wow a metal this thing is thick this thing is thick especially compared to these plastic ones they've been giving us this thing is pretty pretty hefty wow they're, they're really up in the cost of them, I guess. That's why these, these pins were uh, a little bit more... I guess they are the same size, but they feel so much bigger. They feel so much bigger, these new ones do. And it's very, very striking as well. So what kind of packs do they give us? That's always the question in tins. What packs do they give us? Obviously, they're going to give us a team up on front. Team up. Forbidden Light and an Evolutions. Evolutions is an expanded set. And it seems like they just must have printed too many of them because they seem to be in every every box. 
every box they're trying to get rid of in evolutions it seems um here you guys go you guys can have that code for evolutions because i have you know probably 30 30 evolutions on my ptcgo account because i'm not opening them um which is the case this one does have a case uh can have a secret rare in it though we are starting things off with the machop followed by weedle with the poison sting though duo is furiously attacking star you has that quick blow hardened from that onyx it was focusing right here a moment ago now it's not there we go hardened from that onyx pokedex look at the top five cards put them back in any order kakuna matata has that stiffen and poison powder a potion those have seen some play lately in the venusaur deck actually that could probably go right in the venusaur and then we have a reverse rare nine tails beautiful beautiful card um and our rare in the pack is a dugong gong gong and it's going going and it's gone uh but let's go ahead and see what's in the forbidden light i do want to save the team up for it last just because it's team up um there we go i'll set it over there keep the forbidden lights uh one two three energy is fire and it was a lightning energy as you guys saw from the screen we're not going to go back over it though we got a berg might a might a burger scatterbug with the abnormal outbreak i don't know if i want to catch that gumi with the dupe hider chilling by the little thing Fla baby with the secret blessing judge judge i need a judge judge please i need a judge um as self Ooh, i flipped over the uh, nine tails that's not good a tie run sorry if i'm running out of breath here and a porter we haven't really seen that come in play and that's a reverse and our rare is a noivern noivern's pretty slick though noivern has that supersonic in the resonance as long as it's confused it does 70 more damage now uh i'm not sure the best way to just get everything pre-confused on your opponent's board but i'm sure there is a way out there somewhere but let's go ahead pop into team up one two and a three in the energy b metal Ooh, i called it right boom right there metal metal energy so we call the right is that where my glare is is right there right on the electric energy so we have electric water and metal energy um i think i did the trick already yeah i think i did the trick already we're gonna see what's inside this thing we're gonna start things off with the weedle taking a little munch Volibee has that collect attack collecting cards for you dratini nice simple artwork hiding in the shadows i guess there's a shadow behind that tree psyduck has a headache a lolan graveler with the rollout that is a free attack yes it is ammonite has that lord helix fossil in this set of water memory i'm not sure if anyone's really playing that reverse is a far-fetched collecting again and our rare is a zapdos that's a wonderful hollow to get now zapdos that's another deck that's pretty hyped up in this set for that thunderous assault get it into the active and it does 80 damage so that's a pretty slick pull to get nice little zappy zap boy not the jirachi but it is a good pull nonetheless and actually i will sleeve up the uh reverse nine tails because it is a reverse rare although i don't think i did that with um the slow king i saw earlier too no i didn't do it with the slow king from the burning shadows all right last team up pack it is the celebi venusaur pack so it should be lucky it should be lucky this is a celebi venusaur themed opening uh so we should get Celebi Venusaur stuff, right? <clears throat> That's how it works. One, two, three. Energy is grass. It's not. It's water. Uh, so we're way off on that. Let me see if I can do it this way. Maybe it'll work better. A star you. Followed by Poochie and a Howl in the Dark. A Alolan Geodude. Paris with the Scratch and Slashers. Joltik has that Leech Life. Not as good. This looks dissimilar. Water energy. I mean, water memory. Golduck with the Amnesia and the Swim. Followed by Dana, one of those hat ladies. Blitzel is that delivery dash, giving you all those electro powers you need. And our rare is an Aerodactyl. 
Aerodactyl. Very cool. I like that rear as well. So, I mean, not a bad uh, thing. No GXs. No big, big pulls. No tag teams except for the Celebi Venusaur we got. But we did get a reverse rare Slow King. Reverse rare Ninetales. And a hollow rare Zapdos. That's a little uh, unfortunate that, I mean, that's what the pulls are like. But, you know, you do hope for one white code. And we did get one white code. Uh, but one out of four is not the best of pull rates, if I am correct. But let me know what you guys have been getting in your tins, if you guys have been getting them. Which tin have you guys been getting? Have you guys been going straight after the peek around? Because those are sold out at my stores. I can't see, I can't find any more of them. Um, but with that, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by today. Uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I will bid you guys a low lie. I do hope to see you guys in some more videos soon. I hope to be making some more videos soon. Um, stuff scheduling is finally is finally opening up, so that's the good thing there. Um, scheduling is finally opening up, allowing me to have more time to be able to do these things. So I thought today would be a good day to go ahead and get this one out, and hopefully I can just start streamlining it from there. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. This has been Dapper Drappy. I'll bid you guys. Alola, and I hope to see you guys in another video soon. Bye bye.